eventually you are told that the value of e is between 2 and 3 that is e lies between 2 and 3 but why it happens so for that we to understand the expansion of e to the power x the expansion of e to the power x is 1 plus x over 1 factorial and it goes on till infinity now for e one can understand that this is e to the power 1 that is here x is equal to 1 so when you need in e x so when in e x you put x is equal to 1 it becomes e now in the expansion in the given expansion put x is equal to 1 everywhere can you see that this is some positive quantity and that positive quantity is the accumulation of fractions so this is 2 plus some positive quantity so this implies that e is greater than 2 so one part so for that I'm writing e as Now, if we consider first three terms and write them and compare only first three terms in both the uh, series, then they are equal. But what is 1 by 3 factorial? That is 1 by 6. And 1 by 6 is less than 1 by 4 because as the denominator increases, the number overall decreases. Similarly, if I write 1 by 4 factorial, which is 1 by 24, that is less than 1 by 8. Why I'm taking specific numbers? Because with this, we are reaching to a nearest series which can be taken sum to infinity, that is a geometric series. Just see, if I write 1 by 4, that can be taken as 2 square. So if I write 1 by 8, that can be taken as 2 cube. So now if I compare both the uh, series, then I to write that the series here below is more than the series above. What's the use? The use is, I can write this as 2 plus a geometric series, which is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 2 cube. What is the first term here in this GP? The first term is as well as the common ratio. Both are 1 by 2. Now if I apply sum to infinity which is a over 1 minus r and the condition is that uh, r should be from minus 1 to 1 if I now apply the sum to infinity, it turns to 1 upon 2 over 1 minus 1 upon 2, which is... So, this implies that E is less than 3. So, from case 1 and case 2, one can prove that E is more than 2 and E is less than 3. Therefore, clearly, E lies between 2 and 3. So this is quite easily done. Thank you very much.